But uh, what's up, Southos voice? So this is um, this is called the ship pack is called Hammer of Destiny. The backgrounds is called NM NMS, as in No Man's Sky backgrounds, created by six 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 the Cookie Monster, who's created some cool ships, and is apparently a big No Man's Sky fan. So we have a ship that is completely based on No Man's Sky. So let's check this baby out. You were woken up by your noisemakers and got a migraine instead. Oh, I'm sad to hear that. I I know that feeling because I have people that do yard work outside my apartment on certain days so i'm sorry to hear that my friend noisemakers i don't know what that is but it sounds rough here we go we have the wonderful cookie monster uh <laughs> signature there's always some little cookie monster thing on the ship i love it this is really cool looking so i guess this is based on a ship design from no man's sky it looks really cool looks like an exotic ship from no man's sky well let's look at the description Combat Frigate Type A, a Corvax Admiral, sent you this corner of the Euclid sent you this corner of the Euclid Galaxy to aid the local Federation in its goal, whatever it is. Hope you grab lots of scrap and much more fame back with you. Okay. So it's got some interesting weapons and it's got two engines with a human. Um That's your pet term for babies. Oh, your your noisemakers are your babies, gotcha. <laughs> Well, let's check out. We got shields. We got level three weapons. All right, pretty standard system setup. But we got some interesting looking weapons. Let's check this out. We got a photon cannon, which looks kind of like a fire ion or something. Rapid fire weapon, which shoots supercharged photon particles in a wide area. Interesting. So it's two power, one second charge time, one shot per charge. Wow. Normal damage one. This is like a pre-spun up Vulcan, it looks like, with a stun chance. So this looks like an ion weapon, but I think it's actually not an ion. It's not ion damage, it's normal damage. That's interesting. So those, are no, those are No Man's Sky weapons? Okay, awesome ship, yeah. Cookie Monster's got a pretty cool little build here. Sounds like a flak weapon. It sounds like one, but maybe uh, with how fast it is, it's super inaccurate or something. Uh, and then we have an infra knife. This weapon concentrates heated plasma into a beam, which causes fire in the targeted areas. So nine second charge time. It does one damage per room hit and a chance for fire. So like a better fire beam, I would have guessed maybe it's a shorter length of beam. What's the name? The Hammer of Destiny. The Hammer of Destiny. This is created by uh, 666 the Cookie Monster, and it's a No Man's Sky themed ship. Well, let's see how this one plays out. Um, let's see if we got some. Ooh, that's a cool background. Let's see if we got some Gibbs for the Rebellion. Somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known. Carl Sagan. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that's a reference to what happens when you die in No Man's Sky or something. So. Wow, this is cool. So these backgrounds were created specifically specifically for this mod. And it's going to look like, I think, No Man's Sky backgrounds. I wonder how Cookie Monster did this. If maybe took screenshots from the game to create backgrounds. It's really cool. Firstly, you hope to make a custom ship. Interesting sector for one of your ships. Nice. If you wanted to design a ship and make it the most OP, just in terms of room placement, how would you arrange the rooms on it? Everything in the middle of the ship. So it's far away from missiles coming in the front or the back. So important systems in the middle, I would say. Um, do I like this crew placement? I think I do. Okay. This is a cool looking ship, man. Avasti Shalty Dogs. What's that, Pie Boy? Really cool backgrounds. I mean, if one thing... Yeah, that's a... Uh... Oh, it's slow firing. Okay, that's interesting. If one thing No Man's Sky is known for is, um... Some pretty awesome visuals, I think. So, oh, that's a pretty OP weapon. Uh, those are cool little projectiles, man. Little spinning balls of plasma. It's cool. All right. Really cool backgrounds. I hope it's not too busy to, like, um, be able to see ships and stuff. That's the one thing that can go wrong with backgrounds that look good is it can be a little busy and hard to see. Basic, pretty basic shield uh, lookout to it. You got loop hero today, seen as it was a bit cheaper. Nice. Okay, cool. 
Right, fire not gonna be super useful here. Prepare to possibly get sucked in. Although I don't know how much you like um, um, idle games, because I feel like to really make a lot of progress in that, yeah, you need an idle. You need to like idle games. This is interesting. Solar flare with some crazy thing back here. Big bad matters for the eight months. Thank you so much, my friend. Appreciate that. Right, solar flare. Okay, that's not bad. It's a cool weapon, this photon cannon. This is a pretty interesting one. It's like a... It's like a pre-spun up Vulcan, but it's... The projectiles being so slow make it... Um, feel different. So it's pretty cool. I think I should calculate the DPS based on a certain ship type and compare it to Flak 2 or Burst 2 to see how OP it is, if, if at all. What? Oh no, that's a cool background. Wow, okay. Uh, what's up, Flirtin? How are you doing, my friend? I'm not sure what you're referencing there, Flemmy. Calculate DPS based on a certain ship type compared to Flak. Uh, are you talking about designing what as if was asking about or what? Ooh, that's a cool asteroid field. This is, I think, wait. I thought we were in an asteroid field, but we're not getting attacked by asteroids. It would be cool if the asteroid field background is something like this. We have exactly enough for shields. Let's go ahead and, well, we have a store. We don't have a store, let's get shields. Because we got pretty crazy good weapons. If we have shields, we'll be looking pretty good. So I get one extra jump if I go through the nebula. So instead of eight, I should see this is nine. So nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see how I can do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's going to be something like that. Asteroid field without an asteroid field. Looks great. I know, right? These backgrounds are really well done. Again, for those just joining, this is a, this is a um, No Man's Sky themed ship is what this is. You know, some people hate that game. Some people love that game. But what I do know about No Man's Sky is it's, from what I've seen, it's had more updates than, like, any game in, like, the last frickin' 20 years or something crazy. Oops. I keep seeing updates on Twitter of they keep adding more stuff to it. It's like they're making up for the worst development period of all time by having the best post-development free stuff add-on development of all time or something. The BGs are pretty amazing. Yeah, the backgrounds, yeah, they look really cool. Why does the No Man's Sky ship have more than one crew? Can you hire a crew in No Man's Sky? That I don't know. I mean, NGs are kind of like robots, so I don't know. Maybe you can have some, like, automated helpers or something. You don't even have to Photoshop anything. It's a typical NMS screenshot. Okay. More updates than Terraria? I don't know. I just know that I've been seeing on Twitter, like, all these free updates all the time. And so... As bad as No Man's Sky's, um, my, my, my pause isn't on, um, uh, development was, there were a lot of, I've seen a lot of people saying really good things about all the stuff that they've made available post-launch in No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky, you doubt you can hire anyone? Yeah, I, I don't know about that. On my weapons, no. Oh crap, my shields are down and his heavy laser is up. Oh jeez, okay. Oh, we got a heavy laser incoming. Oh, we dodged it. Get doged, man. Get doged. Okay. Uh, you can hire a crew for your freighter, you think, in No Man's Sky? Okay. The freighter has a captain, at least. It's NPC scientists. Okay. All right. I don't know. I played No Man's Sky. I think I played it like six hours or so. 
And I could see the draw, but to me, when I played it, it felt like every planet was the same. You do the same stuff over and over, but with just different skins on it. But uh, I haven't played it as much as probably a lot of people have who really love the game. If I can get seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should be good to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we get all these. Okay. All right. Free schematic samples. Nice. Free stuff, man. Freaking free stuff. We're going to use up all our good RNG on Monday again so that Wednesday we get wrecked. Wow, oh, this one's just clear and open. This is... Really cool backgrounds, man. Just to have some different stuff to look at. It's really cool. That's your issue with No Man's Sky as well. You wanted the exploration. You wanted the exploration and really didn't feel anything from doing it. Yeah. Like I like the idea behind the exploration, but it feels damn. Um, turn off auto fire. Um. It feels like you're just kind of going to the same planets over and over, but with, um, okay, I have to auto-fire this, but with just very slightly different skins, so, again, not to knock people who like it, because there's probably is a lot of different stuff, and I just didn't get far enough into the game to experience it, but the photon cannon makes the enemy feel like they're trapped in a Space Invaders game without the ability to move. <laughs> They've been adding very much content post-launch. They still do. No Man's Sky is different now. And that's the thing. I haven't actually played it in recent six months or something either. So there probably is more cool stuff to, to find and, and explore now. But I'm digging this FTL No Man's Sky mod, though. It's really cool. Does the Photon Cannon do crew damage? It does normal damage and it can stun. So I would guess it does 15 crew damage like a normal laser does. I don't know 100% on that. It doesn't say negative... I think it would have to say negative 15 crew damage to not do crew damage. And it doesn't say that, so I don't think I don't think that's the case. So I think it just does normal crew damage. Um This you need clone bay, I think, to protect you. Okay, we're not gonna die for a store. Flashlight seems to do crew damage, won't help with crew killing though. Well if we if we find a ship that I can fight without taking uh, damage I will attempt to do a crew kill uh, I'm not sure if I've had any yet, any yet because I've been hashtag blame chat talking to you guys but uh, this might uh... I'm actually going to let them do one damage here to get a repair training but uh, I'll have to see if we can get if we can crew kill this I feel like the photon cannon would be hard because you have to like stop it over and over again. I don't know how good the fires medium fire chance is going to be. If it's going to be good enough for crew killing or not. Feels like it might be hard to control with how inaccurate or random the accuracy is on Photon Cannon to get a crew kill with this uh, ship. Hey, there's the crater. Cookie monster there in chat. Photon Cannon does a normal amount of crew damage. Gotcha. It's 50% fire chance. Okay, so that's pretty good. So, if we can get a fight where it's crew killable, we might give that a try. Oh, okay, excuse me. I got a good sleep, but it means I haven't fully woken up yet. I will eventually wake up today. Yeah, Photon Cannon does one whole damage. Nice, alright. Uh, with that, we'll put you on shields. What's up, Azura? Okay. Really liking your ship, and the backgrounds are super cool, Cookie Monster. Really digging it. Okay, you can do damage to us, so we're not going to go for it here. Good doge. It's interesting how it's a photon cannon, but it does not do ion damage. It does normal damage. It's pretty interesting. I do like the visuals of an ion, but the damage of a normal weapon. It's pretty interesting. 
wonder what four ion, uh, photon cannons would do. Maybe we could find them. I don't know if they're available in stores. We might have to try that out. I'd want to slightly unalign them so it's like two, 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 like so they're not all firing at the same time. Ooh, double reward? Damn, no double reward. Yeah, the weapon's really cool. Probably need level two sensors or someone manning them. Gotta know what's who's where. Then again, won't change much with actually a photon cannon. Yeah. See No Man's Sky in the background. Worry about copyright. Um, for visuals, I'm not worried about that actually. Um, because DMCA doesn't do anything with visuals. But uh, you know, if my if this video gets pulled down because of No Man's Sky copyright, I mean, I. I I've had so many other games played in FTL with visuals that not had any issues. I don't think there'd be any issue at all with that. They're just screenshots in the background. And I mean, you play No Man's Sky uh, on Twitch and it doesn't get pulled down. So I don't think that you have to worry about that. Um, Heavy laser is amazing. Let's see here. Yeah, let's go ahead and get a heavy laser. Look at thanks, thanks, Freddy. <laughs> yeah, for for copyright things, I only worry about audio because that's where automated DMCA BS comes into effect. For visuals, um, I mean, we've had we've had Star Wars style ships, and if there's anybody who's gonna pull down stuff, it's Disney owning Star Wars, and didn't have any issues with that being an FTL, so. You have to have a lot more views for, I think, something like that to be an issue. Uh, reactor for 22 is actually at worst, right? It's 20 right now. Ah, that was a savings of three scrap. Oh, well. Glaive beam, Kappa. Cookie Monster made those screenshots. No one's guy does not hold to complete intellectual property of them, if any. Okay. There you go. Um, okay, so you can't do damage, but you are an auto scout, so I can't really try to get a crew kill with this. Yeah, for like, for like, screenshots and screen captures for games, I mean, I don't... Especially putting them in another game with your own work, I don't think there's any infringement that you can claim with that. Especially when it's a mod. It's a mod for another game. I love the little cookie monster visual right at the front of the ship. Man, could have had a double or didn't have it. I love that. So so funny looking. See, I already have weapons training. Yes, we probably got it on the first fight. I'm gonna guess, <laughs> or the first couple. Ah, oh, man, I want to go for a crew kill, but I just all these ships are just a little too, a little too strong weapons wise. Small bomb and heavy laser is like really freaking strong. Um, I kind of need the fuel, but I want scrap more, so I'm going to not take that. <laughs> he died after my weapons went offline. Because there were so many shots already in the air. Notice that the ship itself is screen from No Man's Sky 2. Yeah, this is in, this entire ship and background, which is two different mods, is inspired by No Man's Sky. That is the theme of this one. The first time we've had a No Man's Sky uh, themed ship. Five, six, seven, so we'll be here in five, four, three, okay. Wonder how fast it deletes the drone surge phase two. <laughs> well, we did, uh, the first ship we fought, I think, had a defense drone and, or an anti-drone drone, and the cannon, like, shot down the drone really fast. This has a similar effect to, um, what was it, Math Champ's asteroid deploying thing, or the RPG Nerdos, somebody... I had one where there were just asteroids going constantly and just destroy drones. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we are looking for a store, I guess. Just got back home from the chores. Welcome back, Mr. Porku. Welcome back. Okay, nice. Got the burst laser two offline. There's actually a small group of people who scour the Twitch internet to find if their artwork is being used in other games. Mod will totally be cool with it. Then they see the ship fitted with a cookie monster head. <laughs> That's right. Can't claim this. 
Although Sesame Street might be able to, you know, claim this ID as their own. Weapons are no man's guy too. Where can you buy a freighter? Hey, what's up, Wembo? Perseid battleship could demolish the drones with its, its asteroid artillery. Not that likely, but it could. Okay. All right. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Okay, this guy can't do damage to us. So how do we go about crew killing? I'm going to fire like four shots and then try to set a couple different fires here. Only got one fire. One, two, three. Hmm. The beam's a little too short, I think, to really be a good crew killing ship or weapon or whatever. Yeah, I think the beam's too short and the fire chance is too low for it to really be a crew killing weapon. So it's more like a small, it's like a mini beam with an extra fire chance, I guess you can describe this weapon as. It's going to be a good evening, Ran, providing some good entertainment, and dinner's ready. Nice. I'm glad to hear that you are going to enjoy your evening, Wham Bambola. I've been enjoying my evenings by playing um, too much WoW lately, so explore the asteroid field. Okay, so the asteroid field has not been changed. That, I think, is... I don't know if that's a changeable thing. Oh, really? My weapons? All right, it's fine. I'm not sure how, sure how easy or difficult it is to change the actual uh, asteroid field. It's funny that the asteroid field we got happened to be right at the time we were in, uh, looked like we were on a planet. <laughs> Damn. What's a ship all about? It's a No Man's Sky inspired sh ship. Inspired by No Man's Sky. You see an Ion Vulcan? It looks like an Ion Vulcan, but it actually acts more like a slower projectile real Vulcan. Because even though they look like Ions, they they actually do normal damage and just have a stun chance on them. Think you can replace the asteroid images? Okay. Subscribing hey, Wild Super Bob, is that a Cookie Monster in the front? Yes, it is. Thank you for the three months, Wild Super Bob. This ship was created by 666, the cookie, cookie Monster, whose call sign is a little peeking over the corner Cookie Monster every time we get one of their ships. Great. All right. Yeah. Ooh, it's cool backgrounds. Wow, that's really pretty. Okay, free stuff with some pretty backgrounds. Gotta love it. Mantis Homeworlds, huh? All right. I'd rather go there than a nebula. Flak Ion Vulcan. Uh, I don't know that I'd call it a flak because the projectiles don't go out, out at the same time. It's got the accuracy of a flak. I guess that's what you can compare it to. This is looking like a potential dive sector. So, this is what it would take to try to get Kazak. And be very careful with crew killing. I'm going to go for it. I love me some Kazakh action. Uh, you couldn't change the asteroid fields and the nebulas. You could the heat sun, but it was distracting, so you changed it back to original. Got some background with the ship. Interesting design, yeah. Um, the backgrounds are, again, there are a lot of, I think, screenshots from um, No Man's Sky is what it is, if I'm not mistaken. be honest, No Man's Sky really improved in terms of graphics. Also about to get another graphics improvement. And that's that's what I was talking about. Like, I've been hearing about how No Man's Sky is just com continuously getting updates. So, from going to have one of the worst um, reputations in gaming of all time to having slowly improving to having some of the best free updates I've been hearing about. Kind of turning around its reputation from what I've heard. Hey, what's up, Deprich? Hope I've been peachy keen lately. Peachy keen. 
pretty good. I've been pretty good. I have a, I have a singing gig this Saturday, I think. So that's always nice when I get an extra gig. Heavy missile, the O2 for Kazakh click, click. I don't have a heavy missile, but you mean heavy laser? I do want to get that online. Can I do that now? I can. Let's go ahead and get that online. Uh, the updates are so they didn't get sued for lying about half the game. <laughs> that seems like a really pessimistic view of it, but okay. I don't know. That's that's like the the game's bad and I'll always be mad at it mentality, I feel like, rather than the... They're trying really hard to make up for a bad launch. That's That's how I'd like to look at it. Because as much as I haven't enjoyed the game um, when I've played it, there are a lot of people who really do, and I feel like it's got potential to eventually just be really, really good. Uh, nothing can beat Cyberpunk's release, not even No Man's Sky's launch. Uh, let's see this. Uh, let's see. You don't think you'd put them in the same ship with your chain flak because that would be too OP. Burger drops in no man's sky every so often seems to enjoy it. Yeah. And I know that there are people that enjoy it. Burger is one of those that I know that does. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, dive. Man, I don't want to get all those. I think no man's sky launch was worse, but you... You got beefy PC and you could handle Cyberpunk at launch between both releases. Okay, my fuel's getting low. This guy's weapons are insane. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure I've never heard of a worse launch than No Man's Skies. Wow, that was really good dodges by him. Um I know Cyberpunk's was bad, but it was only bad if your PC was like normal and not insanely strong. People who had good PCs didn't have any issues from what I've heard with Cyberpunk. Guessing I don't know the Todd Howard just works joke. Well, you posted it in uh, Shogi's Discord at one point, so I, I know it from your from your post and seeing that that's what, what from Fallout 4. I think I actually referenced that the other day. Uh, okay. Oh, that was supposed to be an explosive ash. Gotcha. Um, I need fuel, but we're about to go to the store. Hey, there's some fires. Can I not kill you? I think I have too many shots in the air. Yeah, we just kill you. <laughs> oh, we got fuel anyway. Beautiful. You're not sure if you would call intentionally lying about a game a bad launch. Okay. Wow, Laner. Okay, you have a personal grudge against No Man's Sky? Because that's... I. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to get into that. I am. I don't have first-hand knowledge about all that. Um, so we can get mind control cloaking hacking. Let's go ahead and get the mind control. All right. I have to decide if I want to uh, get a... Uh, Go for a dive. Uh, no Man's Sky and Cyberpunk did kind of fall in the same trap, build up too much hype they could have never pleased. Well, they would probably argue that there's no such thing as too much hype. I mean, you know, there's that whole thing of no, there's no such thing as bad publicity. People were still talking about their game, so... Uh, remember watching a video from Internet Historian about Fallout 76? You laughed your ass off. People gave too much... Gave in too hype. Just wait and see. I think it's long enough time to talk about food. <laughs> Alright. Time to talk about food, man. Okay, I probably don't dive here. No man's dive. Well, now that's an interesting visual there. Interesting. 
No, you're running and you have a missile and you have hacking. Okay, thank you for not hacking something useful. Ha! <laughs> I will say this photon cannon is really good at shooting down drones and projectiles. I like that. I'm a fan of that. <laughs> I shot down that missile too. Get wrecked. My photon cannon is the most the best defensive weapon I've ever seen. Maybe not the best I've ever seen, but it's doing work, man. Who needs missile defense? Maybe SimCity had the worst of all launches. It was unplayable after all on all machines. <laughs> really? That's going super old school right there. Go one, two, three, four. To go the retreat, retreat route. I you know what, since I did the Mantis Homeworlds upgrade, I'm actually going to go for that. As long as we're not talking about pineapple pizza or something, then you're good. <laughs> nice. Black Wizard had a similar mechanic. That's the one I was trying to think of, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, don't make this uh, dive be for nothing, please. Pineapple on pizza. Hey, we got Kazak. Okay. Now the challenge is going to be to actually get the crew kill without killing the ship. So. Damn it. Okay, I've got a couple fires. All right. All right, weapons are on fire. Heal bay's on fire. Very nice. All right, I think we might actually be able to do it with this. If I do this, when you get low enough, you should go fight him, I believe. No, you're fixing O2. Wow, that, that one shot completely missed the entire ship. Wow, I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Right, these guys are actually locked in this room because... Yeah, he can't go through there. Okay, so if I do this, that's going to pull the pilot. He'll die. Yes! Quickly, scan their ship for survivors. Quickly, dock and take them back to the med bay. Your haste has paid off. I will devote, devote myself to your cause. Freaking Kazak, man. We did it. I have learned the power of swag sensors Kappa. <laughs> Uh, awesome. There we go. That's how you get a crew kill against Kazak. When you have pretty interesting weapons to try to make that happen. Manti pilot. Um, let me figure out where I want to put my crew now. Um, I often like having Kazak free to do old borders. So, I mean, I could put him on shields, I guess. And go, like, Mantis on doors or something. I think I might go like this. I want to keep my human on pilot, because I like my NGs and Mantids to be free to deal with borders and uh, repairing. So, All right, so we are diving, though. So I'm going to get one extra dodge here and power for it. Are you bad for destroying a colony with millions of inhabitants? Just a question. <laughs> yes. You're bad at... You're bad, then you should feel bad. Self achievement reached Covenant 25. You got to Covenant 25? Explosive Ash? Nice. Grats. Grats, my friend. Okay, well, I really need this laser to kill these missiles. Mm. It's hard to make this thing get through three shields. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Piling offline is really bad. The missile did not get shot down. Oh, we dumbled Doge with like 20-something percent dodge. That's really good. Yes! 
Missile got shot down. Nice. We might actually kill this ship here. Nice. All right. Finally take one three damage missile and not the ASB. That's pretty insane, honestly. Silly device looks hungry. <laughs> Silly device. You look a little different today. What's with those sword arms? All right, you want to be my bad human? Sure. Sure thing, Azura. Using more of that good FTL uh, RNG on Monday? You know it. Oof, that's a terrible location, but we're going for it because it's a free weapon. One, two, three, four, five. I actually have to dive to get that. Six. I have to double dive to get this. So much for good RNG, honestly, and I don't even have the fuel to do it. This literally could not be in a worse location. There's not a single worse jump that this could be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'd have to double dive. Wow. Maybe it's such a good weapon that's actually worth it. We won't know because I'm not double diving for a random weapon. It would probably be a friggin' a heal bomb or something. All right, tech, slaver, scum. Literally could not have been worse there. Oh my gosh. Your weapon system is ridiculously bad. That's a really good deal, but I need fuel, so I can't take an extra NG when I already have an NG. Vent Kazakh for his terrible choice of beacon. <laughs> hey, we needed an out of way place so that uh, you know the uh, Zoltan police wouldn't 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 find it. Well, you succeeded on out of the way place. You also succeeded on making it so nobody can ever get it. So congratulations on that, I guess. This is why you get advanced FTL navigation, I guess. So retreat, retreat really does have the best strat. We need to use it. I think I just take this because I need this one fuel gets me one extra jump right now. All right. If I'd known the store was here, I wouldn't have taken that deal, but I did not know. Um, six, five, four, three, two, see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Maybe if one of the events slowed down the rebels for one turn to be worth it. Yes, but you can't bank on getting rebel fleet delay because those are really rare events. Oh, <laughs> not another photon cannon, but another infra knife. Uh, I mean, that's probably actually worth it. It's like a buying a mini beam, right? Man, I really want cloaking, though. Also want clone ban. I really want automated reloader. I want a lot of this stuff here. I want to buy this. I'm going to buy this, and I'm going to buy all the fuel. All right. I'm trying to decide if I want to use double in for a knife instead of the heavy laser. I think with all these projectiles, we do kind of try to go for this, and I use pausing to actually make these in for knives work correctly. One, two, three, four, five... One, two, three, four, five, six. Do I even want another store right now? Not really. Uh, how often do those spawn in pirate sectors? What, the um, the delay? I don't know. Krisham for 48 months. 48 month streak just says no. Thank you for being the trolliest, most consistent viewer of all time uh wow i cannot believe you've subscribed for 48 months and you just still just subscribe and say no 
<laughs> I'd say so bad. All right, all the bad things. All the bad things. I'm gonna do an X. You know what? In honor of that thing, no X for no. No weapons for you. X. X in your shields. I wonder if I can crew kill this, actually. It's a lot of fires. At least he's consistent. There you go. <laughs> That's right. Um, I think there's too many fires to actually get a crew kill here, so let's just kill him. Interesting knives. These are my fire knives. All right, let's see here. Let's heal up. If Chad isn't trolling you on some level, am I really doing it right? Probably not. You know, there's probably Twitch streams out there where chat doesn't troll the uh, the streamer. But I my stream has never been one of those, that's for sure. I'm too much of a troll myself, I guess. Oh, there's the delay. It's a little late, though. Well, that's honestly a pretty scary ship, but we're going to fight him anyway. Fight the ship. There it is. Oof. Double freaking missiles, man. Could you be more trolley, FTL? Could you be any more trolley? Alright, get that crap out of here. Get that out of here. Cross training on weapons right now or something. Oh wait, no, that's uh, it's actually Kazakh on weapons. The double in for knife. Now that's getting some decent fires going. Mercs show up all over, of course. Neither has any stream form psycho hypnotic. What? A place where chat doesn't troll. What a horrible place that would be. Ship is almost as dangerous as a ship you fought, Kappa. Okay. Chat will troll until the universe itself detonates, and even then there'll still be some Kappas floating around in the great empty void. <laughs> okay. Aha, ship go burn. <laughs> uh, cloaking double missiles. That is two ships in a row with two missile weapons. Thank God we're... I think we got a free repair somewhere because I don't think I repaired that much, did I? Okay. There we go. Get the missile offline. Now. Two ships in a row with an Artemis, no less. Uh, the Fed ship I did repaired us. Okay. Fire bomb. Okay, that hits us. We got a vent though. And let's kill his cloaking, please. Nice. A place where chat doesn't troll? Stop dreaming, Rand. Kappa. Thank you. Thank you for adding the Kappa, or else I wouldn't have realized we were still in my own normal troll stream. Alright, I guess I should start using this beam better. Not hitting single rooms for fires like I'm gonna crew kill an auto scout or something. Bum bum bum. Diddly dee dee dee. Can we vent Azura yet? <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. Not not too much longer. All right, I might try to crew kill this. No NG. Um, the Rockman has decided to. Board me in the heel bay. We're gonna go all in on setting a f starting a fire in the heel bay, and it failed. Have the fight in this fire. There, and that's now dead. Nope, we don't take that offer. We must kill you. 
Oh, wow, we did a lot of damage. Never mind. We did way too much damage to their ship. <laughs> no crew, crew killing now. It's even trolling when there aren't sound commands to scare... Is it even trolling if there aren't sound commands to scare the crap out of the streamer? I would... I don't get streamers who do that, honestly. To me, that's... That's the most... That's like jump scares in scary movies. It's like the base level. Like, I guess it's fun for chat, but if I was watching that, I'm just like, ugh. Eh, what are we, seven years old? Haha, <laughs> he jumped. It's funny. All right, store. Do I want to dive for the store? It's not a bad dive, actually. One, two, three. If I get cloaking... Man, I'd have to sell something to get cloaking. Nah, I'm not going to dive. Uh, hey, Rand, what kind of bribe would I want in exchange for me not getting vat vented? <laughs> Million dollars. Get on it. It's like, um, I think there was some streamer who, like, became famous for having a stream where he was trying to sleep and people would pay money to wake him up with a loud sound. It's like, what? Do people find that entertaining? That just sounds like a horrible thing to do to yourself. The things people do for money, I guess. A human with the sword arms of Mantis and the wrench arms of an NG would be legit. <laughs> who, who, who do you think I am? Paying for a human? You're crazy. Crazy. The interactiveness is what sells? I guess so. I don't know. Wow. Level 3 sensors just got me two blue options. Level 3 sensor is apparently best upgrade ever. Oh, alright. That's, that's a good weapon. There's cloaking, though. And there's the... Weed Eater right outside my, my door. Okay, can I... Do I want to sell something for Burst Laser 2? I could sell a single Infra Knife or a Heavy Laser for it. I honestly don't think I want to sell anything for that. I kind of just want photon cannons, honestly. I'm not going to get a burst laser 2. I'm going to get all the fuel here. I, 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 Cookie Monster, are photon cannons for sale? Because I would like to get more of them. It was all fun and games until someone sent a donation with the message, Alexa, what's my address? Yeah, right. First two would help with high-level shields. You know what would really help with high-level shields? Another photon cannon. That's what I want. We go. We go for memes with ship like with ship like ships like this. Go all in on the memes. Uh, I also really want um, stealth weapons. That would be insane with this. See that gets a missile offline. It does not. Neither does that. Great. My photon cannon might not be able to take down a four-level shield. Um, yeah, maybe not. Uh, actually, I, I bet it can. With heavy laser support, maybe. Still, you, you gotta go full meme, right? We've learned nothing from viewership days that you, always, you always go full meme. Uh, you don't know, but you find it entertaining watching someone playing play Kitty Isolation with Troll Commands Enabled. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, the cloaking effect looks cool. Oh, let's check that out. Oh, that is cool. Interesting. It's got like starbursts going on. That's cool. Photon cannons can be bought in stores, but more rare than infra knives. Okay, cool. So I can find more, and that is my goal. Interesting strategy. Cloaking by blinding their sensors rather than hiding from them. Yeah. I like it. Makes sense. Hacking plus four infra knives win. <laughs> we'll see. Good doge. Hacking plus quad fire beam win. OK. 
Okay. Um, what's this in the corner here? I didn't even notice that. What's that little symbol? Does that follow us around, or is that just in this screenshot? I can't get all seven jumps unless I want to dive. To marker on the screenshot. Has it been in any... Okay, that's just... Okay, just for that one. Oh, that's cool. The base looks really cool. That's really cool. Um, backup battery, I guess. Still looking for hacking. I could get clone bay. I guess I will get clone bay and some fuel. Can't afford um, hacking now if we find it. Cloak is cool, but what about ships with windows instead of sensors? Okay. Infra knives are discounted fire beams, which means better fire beams. Fire beams are too expensive and too slow. This is a really cool background with that yellow. That's really cool looking. Man, if this was just a little to the right, we could get all our jumps in. Oh well. Hey, Clone Bay, just in time for the giant alien spiders. Beautiful. B-A-U-T-Full. Okay, free hull repair. I could get heavy laser online. Let's grab some of the debris. Uh, let's see if we get an early store and another NG controlled. Because I really just want to get another photon cannon. Yes, we're we're just we're just trolling the stores for photon cannons. That's a cool background too. Man, my halberd beam. Halberd beam's great, but it's not the meme we're looking for. These are not the memes you're looking for. Okay, um, I guess we just get hacking here probably then. Hacking, fuel. And repairs. I know, not even real Rand passing on a halberd, but this is a meme run, so. Oh, a med bay. We could get a med bay. Except they're off for a free stuff. All that connects, okay. Beaming took place a week ago with Zeltan flagship. The game wants to do it again, I suppose. Oof. That's some weapons right there. All right, kill your friends. With a little help from my friends. I'm going to actually hack your weapons here. What was that, a 90-something percent hit? F you, FTL. All in on killing those damn weapons, man. Oh, crap. My shields were down, too. Get these crap. Get this crap out of here. Jesus, man. Cannot buy a dodge. Azura, you're just asking to be vented right now. Asking for it. Might get the crew kill here now. Start practicing your, your deep breathing techniques. All right, can I crew kill this? Okay, there we go. Got him. Uh, let's see. Can't you hack the shields instead of shooting? Yeah, I could. I need level two hacking. I'm kind of memeing this run, though, if you haven't been able to tell. I haven't done upgrades because I'm saving scrap for stores because I don't know how much a photon cannon will cost in a store. 
Come on, give me a photon cannon. That is crap. All right, well, I guess I should get third shield. Or I should get max dodge. There's a lot of stuff I should get. Let's get this. Power, power. Dodge, power. Let's do that. We'll get third shield next. Do, 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 do. It'll cost, cost twice, as, twice as much as one sells for. It's true. I could have looked at how much this sold for, and I didn't check that. It'll always cost just a tiny bit more than what I have. That sounds about right for FDL. Definitely sounds about the right amount of trolliness. That's a cool, clear background. Um, okay. This is a Pulsar. We better hack weapons. Time to Manala. Manala? Masala maneuver this bad boy. I know I'm not taking optimal swipes, but I'm trying to go for like multiple fires for like crew killing type things and stuff. That is a cool cloaking image though. True, the code of the game has the cost of items at current scrap plus one. <laughs> Uh, that's trolly and not true, but funny. <laughs> Current scrap plus one. That is the cost of a flak. Wow, that's a cool background. That's a terrible deal. I need my fuel game. Um, I have to be here in three. I'm pretty sure I have to, I have to dive at four, I think. All right. Thanks for the free stuff, NGs. Man, not that many stores. I might dive if there's a store up top, though. Cool background, horrible deal. That's right. All right, I'm going to save drone parts. Not that I need to save them, but just because I want to save drone parts. Okay. Please. Please, no missile. Okay. All right. You can't hit me at 100% dodge game. Woo, that was the four slot fire. Do you think that beacon is in four, both top and bottom corner outside of three? I don't trust that. I have... I feel like you can't tell, even with uh, extended pursuit indicator. I'm pretty sure I've seen ones with less coverage than that. B dives. But we'll find out soon. Okay, intervene. Ions plus missiles, what a build. We're max trained in everything. That's pretty amazing. Of course, that's mainly because we have Kazak trained in shields, most likely. Wait, no, that's not the missile going down. Not nice. Crap, I'm gonna hack the weapons. Gonna get there in time. Just in time. Level 3 cloaking, of course. Okay, good, we got it. Nice, that was, what, over 70 scrap? You were right. It's not a dive. It was really close. I thought that was a dive. Oh, well. Rebel Stronghold Sector 7? I'll take it. All right, let's go ahead and get the third shield and the fifth weapon power here. So we want empty jumps. I'm not going to take a dead-end empty jump, though. You got a dead end job? How about a dead end empty jump? The dead end, man. Lots of cloaking here. Double bombs. That looks like ion bombs to me. 
Is it really a smart plan to have one's main base of operations right next to your mortal enemies? <laughs> I don't know. Let's go ahead and get um, get the shield hack. We're definitely cloaking the double ion bomb here. Nice. Oh, okay. Ooh, thank God that wasn't shield that he just uh, double ion bombed. We're going to take actually good swipes now. The stronghold, not the stronghold, right? Right? Yeah, it's just a rebel stronghold with a N under in construction flagship. I'm sure they have lots of those. Lots of extra flagships being constructed out there. Wow, that's pretty. Lots of pretty backgrounds. Alright, time to see if this thing can get through four shields. Although it's probably not a good thing to check while he's running away, so let's go ahead and hack the shields. Okay, everything into weapons here. I'm gonna guess it was purposeful that the knife is just short enough or just not girthy enough, whatever you want to say, to go across and hit three rooms in a layout like this. Oh, good, we got that offline. Nice. I think the second flagship isn't really as costly. Oh crap, I vented my own human. Sorry, Zara. That was just a warning. A warning venting. Learn to dodge. Okay. Uh, doesn't really that as costly as the first one. I mean, it doesn't even have phase three power surge, nor it has Zoltan shields. To assume it doesn't have that super energy core thing in the main flagship has. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, empty jumps is what we're looking for. For look around, look around. Just, just a, just a preemptive venting. You never know. Man, all these guys are running too. See if that takes it offline. Beautiful. Hit this. Perfect. You're just getting used to the lack of oxygen. Soon you're gonna learn to. You're gonna become Alanius. You're going to evolve to become Alania soon. I don't know where my heavy laser shot went. I think it ran into a drone or something. Okay, this, this, this. This wouldn't be a fun build to play with no boss. <laughs> you gotta gotta turn this off at the right time and aim your double beams. Yeah, I shot the beam two drone, okay. Okay, uh, man, all I want is a photon cannon. Looks like they are too rare, man. No, too rare for fun. No fun for us. Too rare for fun memes. What was the effect when you take down the rebel flagship under construction? What's the effect? You get a really good reward is what the effect is. You get one of the best rewards in the game. It's high scrap rewards. Five fuel, five missiles, five drone parts, and a free weapon, if I'm remembering correctly. I scrap and a weapon and included. Honestly, it's probably better rewards than Kazak, even though I like Kazak better, because you get the crew with it. But the uh, free weapon and extra rewards from Kazak you have to go find. And as you, as we saw on this run, you're not always guaranteed to get it. Nope. No deal. Oh, yeah. you know, The under construction flagship also comes with two uh, fleet delayed. So it's two extra jumps as well. You're going to download the ship and cheat four, cheat four photon cannons. You should. That sounds like a lot of fun. 
Okay. 40 plus scrap. I don't know if you could say that, Mr. Porku, because isn't it different depending on what sector you're in? I think you can find that as early as sector 3 or 4. I don't know if it'd be guaranteed plus 40 scrap in an early sector. Oops. This, this, this. Yeah, missile went off. Rubble Stronghold of sectors 5 to 7. Are you sure? I'm like... 80% sure I saw it in Sector 4 earlier within the last month or two. It's really Sector 5 the earliest you can get it? Okay. Maybe it was Sector 5 and I just thought that was really early. You feel like it's early, Pie Boy, too? I don't know. I feel like I've seen it earlier. But I don't have concrete evidence on that. It's more of a feeling by what I felt like I felt recently with a with an early one. Wiki says 5 plus. I see the troll thing you did there with you've yet to see it after Sector 7. But okay. Not sure if I'll believe the wiki on this one. I, I know there's some bad information on wiki but that might actually be good information. Need Crow Ravel here. He's the one who knows that crazy detail stuff like better than I do. You just checked the game code. It appears from Sector 4. Ooh, really? There you go. One of the rare instances when Wiki's wrong. Okay. Wikipedia is not a reliable resource, says your teacher. <laughs> That's right. Listen to teacher. Okay, well then I was right. Sector 3 was too early, but Sector 4, definitely different than the uh, the wiki. I, I, and I feel like that's what I was remembering, is us seeing it in Sector 4 at one point and me going, Wow, I didn't know you could find it this early. Pretty rare to have that happen, though, that's for sure. Oh yeah, the wiki's still great. No, No shade on the wiki. But uh, it's not always correct, sadly. You know, you've seen some pretty weak uh, under construction flagships like two shield and a couple guys. I don't recall which sector it was, though. I feel like you can only have two shields if it's in sector four, though. Like, um, I think sector five is going to have a three shield under construction flagship. So just the fact that two shield under construction flagship exists makes me think that that's just proof in itself that you can see it in sector four. Uh, I mean, I could get Halberd Beam, but I'm just not going to. I like this. Your teacher says it's okay to use Wikipedia, but also check another source. Okay. I'm sure every teacher has their own <laughs> Wikipedia rules. I'm so old that... Uh, I don't think Wikipedia existed when I was in high school. Probably shouldn't admit that, but there you go. Insert I'm so old meme here, I guess. You whippersnappers and your Wikipedia? Back in my day, we had to use those books called encyclopedias. You probably don't even know what that is, do you? Uh-oh, I don't have my cloaking up. Okay. Older than Google, that's me. <laughs> Older than Google. Uh, two shield flagships number two can appear in Sector 5. You've seen that to confirm it? Okay. So wondering why rebels lose when their main flagship goes down? You assume it's because they cannot defeat the base without it? Because that beacon has never taken over? Yeah, I don't know. You made your first email address in school? Yes. My email address still has the number 18 in it because I made it when I was 18 years old. Ignore, I don't need fuel. So that is a 20 year email address, 21 year, almost 22 year, year old email address. Ask Jeeves, that's right. Back when you had to Yahoo things or what was it, uh, AOL. Instant Messenger, AOL IM. 
when AOL existed. Does AOL still exist? I don't even know, actually. Value point. I'm going to get a bunch of value points, and then we'll probably get fifth shield here eventually. Or fifth shield, fourth shield. MSN, yeah. When I was at school, there was no internet. I know, right? Victory Unicorn Store with Photon Cannon? I can hope. Hotmail. Alta Vista. <laughs> We're all old here. <laughs> we know what these things are. Yeah, dial up modem and log on to IRC chats. Back when uh, you needed to play EverQuest. Uh, had to have the dial up modem. At 56k was amazing speeds. Amazing, crazy, OP speeds of 56k. That's the only the rich people had that. ICQ. I don't know if I ever knew what that actually was. AOL discs in the mail, that's right. It's like those, uh, what are those? Those Reddit memes you see of the, the young girl helping her, her grandma walk and the grandma saying, Back when I was a kid, they sent you discs to get onto the internet. Okay, Grandma, let's go bitch go get you back into bed, okay? <laughs> now you just casually download a six gigabyte game in like seconds, I know, right? We have we have truly entered the information age. Feels good. Feels good to be able to have internet all the time. Your first computer had cassette for storage devices. You're so old, so old, man. What's up, Plunder Pig? Talking about how old we are. How are you doing, my friend? Now we're all so old all the time. Okay, let's do this. That's double. I don't know which types of missiles that is. That's double big giant ones, though. Let's go ahead and do this. Nice. Double. You don't get to use these missiles. Your first computer was a Commodore 64 back in the 80s. I don't think I ever had one of those. Commodore 64. That was pre-Nintendo. I think the original Nintendo was the first gaming system thing I had. Can they roll double Hermes? I think that was double Breach, but they were the same speed, so there's either double Hermes or double Breach. I'm not sure which that was because we didn't see it fire. I think it was double breach with how slow it was. So maybe they can't roll double Hermes. Okay. The NES and the Commodore 64 use the same processor. All right. Can't be double breach because breach takes four power. That's not a that's not a reason to say it can't happen. I'll actually take this crew. Uh, we have a hundred percent seen ten power weapon systems. Oh man, you know what? I'm gonna make you just be silly device. I guess can't be a true run without silly device. You had the original Pong Atari. Nice, Renus. Right, nice. What did people do without the internet? Died. Were bored and read books and went outside and played in the snow? I don't know. <laughs> I had a trampoline when I was a kid that we jumped on. When my parents made me stop playing video games, probably. Just were bored was the answer. They were just were bored. Breach 3 is 3 power and double breach is not scary for us anymore. Oh, breach is 3, not 4, is it? Shows how much I know since I never use breach. I'm going to not care about that guy because he's going to die before that gets to do anything. This might actually just be bad. Yeah, it works. 
Um, you definitely enjoyed it, but the wires didn't like Texas climate. The wires. Oh, you're talking about... I don't know what you're talking about there. The wires of what? Of your internet connection? Uh, oh, did EOT Tech say something earlier? You had an Atari 2600. After that, it was all Nintendo. Okay. You never did have a Commodore 64. You had an MSI Spectra video with a 3.5 inch floppy drive. I remember the 3.5, three and a half inch floppy di drive discs from um, from my school and them having like those word games with the little number cruncher thing that somebody talking about some troll game on the internet called Graham or something or something made me think of there's some troll game that's like whatever number munchers was that what it was called played a lot of that in the library growing up there we go there we go books what is that something they use in ancient Egypt Kappa I'm so old, my 401k is actually on track for my retirement whenever it is. <laughs> the first game system was a Nintendo DS. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, I would like to get his cloaking offline because that's going to make this fight go faster. I don't know if I can actually get crew kills here, but... He hacked my O2. That's fine. Um, gonna get another missile off, sadly. No, he's not. Because Photon Cannon OP. There was actually a really old Star Trek board game that was basically FTL. Lots of D100 rolling and spreadsheets, as you recall. <laughs> Interesting. Your first gaming experience was with a Famicom. Was Famicom, Super Famicom, like the uh, Japanese version of the Super Nintendo? Is that right? I think that's what it was. Did we get four crew kills? Nice. Were they in those old side rooms? Shield hack four to wins right there. Yeah, so, like, I think my first gaming system was, like, in the... Probably mid 80s when my family and my older brother got the regular initial normal Nintendo that came with Mario Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt on the same cartridge. And then playing the original Zelda. Getting that with the gold cartridge that was so cool. Uh the Famicom was a clone of the NES, not the actual Famicom, okay. And you received a PS1, the small light gray version, yeah, yeah. That original PlayStation. Driver 2 was the game, huh? Alright, what, what do we got for upgrades here? We are super strong, so value. Let's go. We already have uh, meme swag sensors, baby. Go level 202 here, actually, for the uh, boarding drone. Open all the doors so we don't vent ourselves. You didn't have Zelda, but you, oh, you don't have Zelda, but you have Mario Duck Hunt and Super Mario Brothers 3. Nice. My favorite Super Mario Brothers game was actually Super Mario Brothers 2. Because I loved how um, all the different characters had different abilities, strengths, and weaknesses, and, and jumps and stuff. I liked playing Luigi with the high jump and uh, the princess who had the um, float jump. That was my favorite Mario Mario game. Okay. Let's see if we can just get the missile offline. That would be great. Nice. Then do this. Swag sensors already run. Proving with science. You're gonna prove it with science, huh? Okay. Um okay, this guy will die, right? Nice. This and this. Poor NG's dying. Poor silly device. 
think we kill him before this actually does anything. Oh. Yeah. So when we get another crew kill, we had like four dudes stunned in the shield room right there. Eat the cookie stunt now and start up a new run, Kappa. I mean, I could, but uh, let's let's just go through the motions here. It's funny because the dubbing was somewhat sucky. Uh, what, on Driver 2? You never owned a Super Mario game as a game. Okay, 39, I can get one power. All right. You know, the mic control counter. You still have a Commodore 64, SNES, and PS1. It's fun when you have PC trouble. <laughs> nice. Um, okay. First game you ever played was one where you had to make a bridge and that not fall over under coming transporters. Okay, I don't know that game. Although that kind of reminds me of... Okay, I can't cloak this. Actually, I am going to cloak this. Because we have the fourth shield and a hundred and uh, like 48% dodge, I'm going to actually cloak that. That reminds me of that um, bridge builder game or whatever it's called. I downloaded at one point. Okay. Can I get this offline? Be great. Oof. Damn. Up here it comes. Do we take damage? Oh, one missile. Can we dodge one missile to have a perfect fight? We shot it down, I think. Nice. All right. I think we're going to have the perfect boss fight. Oh my god, Saucer has shown up with a bang again. Five gifted subs from the Saucer, man. How are you doing, Saucer? Thank you, my friend. GG Cookie Time, the perfect win. The perfect fight. The Hammer of Destiny from the Cookie Monster. Nice little end screen back background. Cookie Monster... Let's me have a cookie like a true cookie monster would. Uh, I think the game was called Bridge Builder. Fun back fact about the NES, the lockout chip was used until the N64 age because it remained undefeated for so long. Cool. That was a fun run. It would have been nice to try four of those, um, um, what are they called? Ion Blast or something? Let's check the score. 54-25. Maybe... Maybe Cookie Monster can send a fun one that's got four of those as a starting weapons that we can try. Yeah, you got, you got the mini image. I love when I when you have the mini image. It looks really good. And there we go. Pie Boy gifted us up to Cookie Monster. Thanks for the ship. All right, what's up, Saucer? Always coming to the stream with a bang, with a bang right there. Generosity is amazing. Neat looking ship. It's really cool. It's a No Man's Sky inspired ship. So just a reminder, that was called the Hammer of Destiny. Then the backgrounds mod is called No Man's Sky Backgrounds. So if anyone who wants to play that, check it out on the box.com. Those are available to play. That one does not uh, require hyperspace. So check out that one. I think next we're going to play Azura Sadaya's new Dominion Battleship because I didn't play one of her ships last week. So before we do that, though, my friends, I'm a Sam Stretch user. Restroom. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the FTL. Having a good time. I got sleep last night, so I'm not... Exhausted like yesterday's stream, so I feel great. Let's do another ship, another awesome viewership after this quick 60 second stand up stretch break. Y'all rock, rock. See you in just a bit, my friends.